Hey, this is Kristen, the real squirrel. I'm headed to another Goodwill outlet. Which bins am I going to? Let me give you a hint. Arrived. Hey, thanks for clicking on my channel. I'm Kristen, I'm a real squirrel, and we travel all over the place looking for Goodwill outlets, and we've been through a lot to get to this one. We started out in Death Valley, went through a sandstorm, um, we've been through Zion National Park, we've been a lot of cool places, and now we're in Reno. I've heard good things about this one. So, mask mandate, so I've got my mask that my mom made, If you've and I know you've met my mom, she's great. She's been to several different Goodwill outlets with me, so we're gonna go in here and see what we can find. Come on, let's go. Like almost no shopping carts at this one, so I guess I'm gonna grab a basket. Ooh, I hope this is a form of manifesting. Now you guys know that shoes are my favorite thing to dig through, but they're also my nemesis because sometimes you find just one really good shoe and you can only hope that you're gonna find the other one. Looks like today, we got lucky. Oh, but not that lucky, because these are not Louboutins. New rotations at this outlet are pretty calm, but check out what this lady in front of me is about to snatch. Right about now, I'm really wishing I had a cart. There are very few carts at this place, so this basket for now is gonna have to do. The bins can be kind of a dirty place, so wear something that you're comfortable in and you don't mind getting a little messy. These little Minnetonka shearling boots are so cute. I'm kind of regretting not getting them, but they were pretty worn, so I threw them back. But then I found these teeny tiny little baby Cavalines, and I feel better. And still no cart. Wow, I can't believe this is still sitting here. Thanks everybody for leaving it here for me. I'll take it, thanks. Ooh, how about this, a tote with a lid. This is gonna be handy. Aunt Judy would really love this guy. Three wishes. Aww. After being in the bins with things like this super heavy old drill, it surprises me that this trapper keeper folder from like the 83 survives. I don't understand how things like this happen, but I'll take it and sell it for about $10. I know there's a lot of you guys out there that are 
pretty knowledgeable in things like this and are probably screaming at the TV right now, pick those up, or you're screaming, don't pick those up. But I don't know enough about this stuff to pick them up, although they're pretty lightweight and I probably could have, but I didn't. So I'm just gonna leave this right here and you can tell me later in the comments <laughs> whether or not it was something you would have picked up. That's true. Yay, two Squishmallows. Now it's time to sort. I'm gonna do my research, check my comps, look for flaws or stains, and then pack everything up and get ready to go. Okay, so I've loaded up. Man, that was fun. Um, I can't wait to show you what we've got. Now we're headed back home. Hey, so that was Reno, Nevada. We had been there after we had gone uh, doing a little bit of a loop with our little camper. Um, if you want to follow the adventures to that, it's on Instagram at you, me, and the Oliver. I'll put the link to that down below in the description. So we had been to Zion National Park and um, the Alabama Hills and up through Bishop and up this great little road and stopped at Reno on our way back east to Colorado. So uh, those of you that don't know, I'm a full-time thrifter, full-time reseller, and I've been on eBay since 1997. So I've been doing this for a little while, but this travel and thrift thing has been new for us for about a year, year and a half. And we've been going to lots of different locations where they have um, Goodwill outlets, Goodwill clearance centers, warehouses, buy the pounds, um, bargain barns, whatever you want to call them, it's still called the bins. And we find so many neat things there. But what is really cool is that although they're all the bins, everybody does things just a little bit differently. But in Reno, we had a great time and I wish that we could have stayed longer because we found some fabulous things and I can't wait to show you some of those things. So you could tell that it wasn't terribly busy the day that we were there. Um, here is the price schedule, which was fair. The thing that was different about them, <laughs> um, and other places have done this too. Florida has done this, and you can see that in this video. But other locations charge a different price for shoes than they do for other wares. At my home bins in Denver, all, wear, or all wares and cloth, are the same price. So it's $1.49 a pound for shoes, for clothes, for um, picture frames, that kind of stuff. It's all the same price. But in Reno, this is how much they were per pair of shoes. So I found three pair. I'll show you guys those. And I was kind of excited about, I'm always excited. You guys know that. <laughs> I'm always kind of excited. Pair of Patagonia Ballet Flats. These are a tried and true seller. These are a size nine. It's hard to find Patagonia shoes in good condition now because they haven't made shoes in oh, five, six, seven, eight years. I think that these will bring about $25. I found these and at first I looked at them for a few minutes because I they feel really nice, but I wasn't familiar with the brand. I mean, I'd seen the brand, but I hadn't really picked it up, but I'm glad that I did the research on them because here's the comps on a pair of two boot New York um, men's loafers. These are a size 11 and a half um, and they're a suede. I think that they're gonna do really well, even if I don't get this price for them. I'm happy with what I paid for them and what I think I can get for them. And when I say comps, what I mean is other items on eBay that have sold that are similar to what I've got. And then this pair of shoes, these are Fly of London. Um, it says it's a size 38. So what is that, about a seven, seven and a half? Anyway, Fly of London, always, always a good pickup. I'm happy with these. And again, for what I'm paying for them and what I think I can get for them, it was a good, um, I think it's gonna be a good return on my investment. Okay, so happy about this. 
you know, every time I pick something up, I'm going to be happy about it because I'm glad that I found it, right? This is a Barefoot Dreams uh, zip cardigan. It, I think it's a blush color. It's a little bit of a, a little bit of a pinky color, but um, I'm going to get that cleaned up. I'm going to throw it over there, get it ready for laundry, and uh, that way I can get it listed and it'll be clean whenever it's listed and I can just package it up, put it in my inventory and just wait for somebody to come in and buy it. <laughs> This is a pair of Spanx. Do not overlook this department whenever you're at the thrift store. These things really sell well. Now the tag has been removed, but I know that those are a Spanx. I have sold Spanx in the past and they always uh, flip quickly and bring good money. I'm gonna have to measure these to make sure that I know what size they are. And then I'll pull it up on their website and get the, the size chart. But I expect to get 30 to $40 out of these. And they don't weigh very much. Free people. Love it when I can find free people. Cute little blouse. Um, like a knit blouse. And it's got this weird accoutrement to it. Um, everything free people has got a little bit of a flair to it. So nice to pick that one up. I did look it over really closely because it is an ivory color. This is a reason. Um, and I've seen these, these, uh, this brand before I was at a thrift store and they had a, uh, like a set, <laughs> they wanted way too much money for it whenever I did the research on the comps, but, um, very interesting set, <laughs> but this is kind of cute. So it says red. Oh no, it says bad. I, I can read <laughs> that even without my glasses. <laughs> But it's a size medium sweatshirt, um, and I think that I can get $30, $35, or $40 for this. I'm debating on whether or not to keep this one. You know, I fit this profile. <laughs> I don't think it's vintage. Um, it's an anvil, and it says it's a size small. Ooh, I don't know if I can wear a small, but I am a charter member. <laughs> Just kidding. Eileen Fisher, what a sweet, uh, lightweight sweater. It says it's an extra small. I did look it over again really good because it is white. And I do have a few little things that I'm going to hit with the spot shot, but what a sweet, lightweight um, sweater from Eileen Fisher. Athleta, this is a large, which is a nice size. Um, but this is like a, a quick wicking material, and then this is a stretch material. Great little tank top, yoga top, um, a little bit flouncy on the bottom so that it's not necessarily a tight fitting. Okay, so Patagonia. Isn't that cute? Those little baby pants. This says it's a size three month. <laughs> so stinking cute. United Colors of Benetton. Oh my goodness. So this is a little girl's dress, but United Colors of Benetton. And I had a Benetton sweater that I wore from like eighth grade on. I still have it. I loved Benetton whenever I was in school. And uh, here's me in my Benetton. <laughs> anyway, this is a cute little Benetton girl's dress. I would say it's probably like a 7-8. It says a, a 10 to 11 years old. So it's got some like Italian, European sizing. But it's also saying it's an extra large. Which is good too because that kind of, you know, makes it easier for me to list. I have two different size options. So it says it's a size 10 or an extra large. Cool. Let's get it over there and get it washed. How neat is this? Oh, I think this one is really neat. It was inside out. So I flipped it right side out so that I could see what it said on it because it had this great Hanes tag on it. Um, it says it's a medium, a 38 to 40, but it was made in USA. It's got a single stitch up here. Um, it's definitely vintage. I won't guess to say what the age is and there's no date necessarily on it. I probably could do some research. I bet a lot of you guys know by looking at this tag what the date is on this thing or what 
era it was in, but I can tell you Pan Am hasn't been around for a minute. So I do think that this will do really well. Give me your get best guess. What is your estimate? What do you think this thing will, will uh, sell for? I'm hoping to get a pretty penny for it, but there weren't a whole lot of other sweatshirts that were exactly the same. There were some, but they weren't exactly the same, and I don't think they were in the same era. So I am curious to see how this one's gonna go. I'll probably put this one up as an auction. I have done, I have picked up other North Face items before, tents and of course jackets and clothing and stuff, but I've also picked up sleeping bags. Now being in Colorado, I know that there's a lot of people that do a lot of camping, a lot of backpacking and things like this. So this is a North Face mummy style um, sleeping bag that has got a lot of nice little features on it and stuff. So these things depending on the you know how lightweight it is and whether or not it's downfilled they can bring anywhere between 60 and 100 dollars all the way up to like two and three hundred dollars so you have to do your research but a north face sleeping bag i do think that this one is probably going to bring around 125 um 100 to 125. very happy with this one okay ha! these guys rode in the back of the truck all the way home from reno so this is a Squishmallow. I love the little firefighter fox. What a cute little guy. Um, I'm gonna get him washed up, get him listed, and get him ready for Christmas. But I found this girl too. So what a sweet little, uh, she, look at, she's winking at us. <laughs> um, she's got a crown, she's got a little tutu, another Squishmallow. So another one that is hopefully gonna find itself a new home for Christmas. And last but not least, what a nice jacket. This is a Harley Davidson jacket. So it's a women's, um, like, a, like a riding gear jacket and it's got the, the shells, the crash guards, I guess they call them, in the sleeves and in the shoulders. That is always a plus if you find them with the crash guards, the shells that are in them. This one is a size large. Very nice, very excited to find these because I do think that these will bring, um, with the guards in them, it helps their pricing, but I think this one's probably gonna be 50, 60 to $100. I do feel good about this. So that was our little trip to Reno on our way through um, Utah and California and up through Nevada. We saw a lot of really nice things, went to a lot of nice places, ate some amazing pastries in Bishop, California. Oh my gosh, I would encourage anyone to go there <laughs> just to eat the croissants. So good. If you had a good time, please give me a thumbs up. If you know that I had a good time, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing it. Uh, I'm always going on another adventure and we're trying to check out bins and all kinds of other locations. Um, if you have subscribed, thank you so much. I appreciate you. You know that it really helps out the channel. If you can, just click that little like button down there. If you want to get some notifications so that you know when I'll have another video coming out, click that little bell. And I'll see you next time. I'll see you in the bins.